This is AP on the spot. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This movie will be soon to be released in 4K. They have, we have recently found out news that there will be footage, uncut footage, inserted in that 4K release. Now, some of the new footage that, or old footage that was re found and resurfaced, some of the old footage that we never saw that we can expect will be, Dr. Death gives Michael the mark of the thorn and then Michael kills Dr. Death in a brutal and evil way. Now in the Halloween universe, the curse of the thorn existed in Halloween four through six. The curse of the thorn is placed on a child by the cult leader. It commanded a child to kill his entire family as a blood sacrifice to keep the cult alive. Now listen, in my humble opinion, this whole entire curse of the thorn theory that was introduced in Halloween four through six was just completely off the grid, just outer space, complete science fiction, and just very, very goofy and wacky. It totally got away from the essence of what Halloween 1978 was totally all about. It had no existence being in the Halloween franchise whatsoever. And what else can we expect in this 4K release? We can expect some more gore, some more blood. There will be blood. Some more gore and violence in this 4K release of The Revenge of Michael Myers, Halloween 5. Now, will I be checking for this release? Will I go out and purchase the 4K? Probably not, because like I said, I'll probably be able to see this footage on YouTube upon its release. And this film was just not a good film. This was not one of my favorite Halloween films for a bunch of different reasons. One of the main, my main gripes of the movie was how Jamie was depicted in the film, how she was mute, you know, through pretty much, you know, the beginning, you know, the beginning, at least 40 to 50% of the movie. I didn't like that mute angle that they used. Uh, the scenery in the film was 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 kind of, was absolutely terrible. I mean, let's just call it for what it is and be truthful about it. The Myers house looks absolutely nothing like the Myers house that we all have grown or grew to know and love. It looks like a gothic kind of house. It actually reminds me of, remember the TV show The Monsters from back in the day with Herman Monster and Lily Monster? It actually looks like the house that Herman Monster lived in from the TV show back in the you know late 1960s or mid early 1960s. So yeah, that was a major problem. The house looked nothing like the Myers house. The Michael Myers, the mask he was wearing was absolutely terrible. The nose was too pointy. The mask had a receding hairline. The mask actually had this big ass neck hanging out from his overall and his clothes so the neck was was hanging out it was just um it was just terrible everything about it you would see michael myers in the film walking around in the daytime under trees kind of walking in circles wandering around in the background so everybody could see him but nobody saw him even though he was right there behind them up under the tree the movie was just a mess i mean so this is I, it's good that they're showing us unreleased footage because there's so many horror films that we've known and grown to love over the years that we just don't get a chance to see unreleased footage or the, the footage has been lost for many years. I mean, just take, for example, uh, Jason Voorhees, Friday's, the Friday the 13th franchise, one of my favorite Friday the 13th film, one of my favorite Friday the 13th films that I actually loved ever since I was ch a child. I went to the drive-in theater to go see this movie actually as a child in 1988 when it came out. Uh, Halloween, Friday the 13th part seven, yes, The New Blood, uh, one of my favorite Jason Friday the 13th movies. A lot of people don't like it, but it's one of my favorites for a lot of different reasons. They had plenty of lost footage that was just cut out from the movie because they said it was too violent, it was too gory. The movie was gonna be rated uh, NC-17, get an X rating at the time. So they literally took all of the gore, all of the blood, and all of the pretty much all of the violence out of that film and they used a bunch of cutaway scenes. So as soon as Jason was getting ready to make a kill, they would just cut away, the camera would just cut away and you wouldn't see it. Tons of lost footage was left on the table. It turns out that Paramount or the heads at Paramount or somebody that was at Paramount, the film company at the time, who was a shot caller, had all of the uncut 
film, uncut release footage just destroyed. And so that means that we will never get a chance to see it compromise, put in a compilation like this Halloween 5 4K release, unfortunately. But you can go on YouTube and check out all the unreleased gore and all the unreleased footage. It's very grainy, it's very dark, you can barely see it, but it's still worth checking out because this is the actual movie. These clips are from the actual movie that we would have seen if the Motion Picture Association wouldn't have told Paramount to cut all the gore and all of the violence out. So that's one thing that I hate because if they still had this footage, they could restore it. And the, the lost footage or, or destroyed footage from, from that time period actually made the movie a cohesive, uh, a much better movie. You know, we get a lot of, it's a lot of choppiness going on in the movie, like I said, because they do cutaway scenes. But the violence and the gore actually made, uh, the, the violence and the gore actually made Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, a much more better movie. And it actually made Friday the 13th Part 7 one of the more gorier and more violent and just bloodier and disgusting. If you, if you, if you like blood and if you like disgusting stuff in your horror films like I do, the footage made the film a absolute much more better movie. And, and like I said, like I just said, probably the most goriest film out of the Friday the 13th franchise. So yeah, go check that out on YouTube. But yeah, so I mean, you know, we'll see what happens with this uh, Halloween, you know, you know, Halloween 4K release. Uh, so if you're into it, go get it, the release when it comes out. Me personally, I'll just wait the Halloween kills for my Michael Meyer fix. It's only a couple of weeks away, so I can wait it out. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get your updates by hitting the notification tab. This is AP, and you're always welcome to come back into the spot and visit me. Check me out, and uh, y'all have a blessed day, and I will check y'all later. Peace. Have a good one. One love.